The following contest is the men's War Games match! The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War WWE Universe God Mode has just been engaged. Introducing first, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Champion and one half of the World Tag Team Champions, The Tribal Chief once again setting foot inside War Games. Yeah, who could forget his first time inside this structure, which actually led to a bloodline victory. Reigns led by example that night, but he was the last competitor to enter the match. Tonight, he's starting the match. War Games may be one of the most barbaric structures in WWE, but the head of the table is more than ready. Word is that the champ was actually asking for this to be a title match, but the officials backstage wouldn't allow it. That is how competitive he is. He looks great with all that gold on him. And representing the bloodline. From Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, the WWE United States Champion and one half of the WWE World Tag Team Champions, Solo Sokoa! Gentlemen, the street champ is in the perfect place for a good old-fashioned street fight. We already know that War Games is where Solo Sokoa thrives. He won his first War Games match alongside his family, the Bloodline. When you look at Solo and you see a man who seemingly wants to fight alone, but he's proven to be a valuable teammate. And there's nothing more important in War Games than a teammate who can fight. It's this simple for the champ. Win no matter what the stakes are. War Games, famously the brainchild of the great Dusty Rhodes. You have to wonder if these superstars are looking to honor his legacy in this match. If you mean his legacy of punishment, then absolutely. Look, Dusty was no stranger to finding innovative ways to destroy his opponent, and he really broke the mold with this idea. I fully expect these superstars to push past every limit they have. Anything less is misunderstanding the assignment. Put it in a position now. Sent flying over to the other ring. Big back body drop. He saw it coming, taking advantage. That was just malicious. Just disrespectful. And you can see the effects of that on Sokoa's face now. Sidewalk slam! 
Almost drove him through the ring. Kick to the gut. Countdown's on and get ready because this will give one team a greater number of combatants. Holding cages open and away they go. Ready to get into the action. That turns it around for Solo. As if the numbers advantage wasn't enough, looking under the ring for a weapon now. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Uh, please don't remind me, Corey. Ooh! Knew what Roman had coming. If you're on the opposite side of this entry, you are bracing for a fight. And he absolutely has no problem just chucking him onto the steel, knocking the wind out of him in the process. Corey, in a match like this, there are so many factors at play, so many moving pieces. How do you even game out a strategy here? Well, you have to look at it just like in a war, Cole. Sure, you can plan for every contingency, but all those plans just might have to go out the window once you're in the line of fire. The best you can really do is stay alert, use any and all numbers advantages to your benefit, and keep on swinging. The worst of that, him or the table, just brutal. That was painful just to watch. Really, just laying it in. Oh, Roman Reigns about to put his apartment away. No getting up from this. Time is ticking away. Shortly, we'll have a fresh competitor to even the odds. And over to the other ring he goes, charging toward the ring and looking to even things up. Oh, look at this here, guys! Look at this! Back suplex into a powerball, my goodness! How's that for a counter? Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike! All the way up for a suplex! No, 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 Wiggles free! Into a chop block! He switches it back around! on top of reversal. Whatever's plan here can't be good. Ooh, that's a shot to the throat. Oh, what a counter. That catches Paul looking. Shifts it back onto it. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being a point. Able to punch his way out. Hoisted up, double underhook. Weaves out. It's about to be an uphill battle for one team once this clock hits zero. DDT! They're on the loose, looking to change the landscape. The lights are out for Sakoa. Looks like the impending numbers advantage isn't enough for him. He lands right in a dangerous trench area. He just grabbed what could be a game changer, adding an advantage on top of an advantage. Ending up between the two rings, and this can get dangerous fast. And now having to deal with that weapon is like going up against two competitors at once. And to... Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Caught with that sharp elbow. Combatant on their way. It looks like things are close to a fair fight once again. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Uh, 
Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Attacking the arm. Send him clear into the other ring. And the balance of power is about to shift with this upcoming entrance. He's burying elbow for the midsection.
respect his methods, but you have to respect his determination. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these men? for this team. Gotta give this team credit. Few matches put you to the test like War Games does. So to win this really speaks to their abilities. Absolutely.